there, and welcome to JetBlue Jr. I'm Anthony, and I'm the general manager for the crew member experience here at JetBlue. I also used to be the general manager for our ground operations at JFK for JetBlue. Today we're at JetBlue's Terminal 5 at JFK Airport in New York City. This airport handles more than 60 million customers each year. Getting all those people where they need to go can be pretty complicated. But actually, every airport still relies on the six simple machines to make it run smoothly. All you have to do is know where to look. Feel free to grab a pencil and a piece of paper. I'll wait. A simple machine is just a device with very few moving parts that makes it easier to do something. And there are only six of them in the whole world. They are the pulley, incline plane, wheel and axle, screw, wedge, and lever. Now let's see how many we can find. Come on. Look at that. We just walked in and we've already found one, a pulley. A pulley is something flexible that rotates or spins around a wheel. You might have seen a pulley on a sailboat or on your curtains at home. Can you spot the pulley in here? That's right, the conveyor belt. If we were to open this up, you'd see a pulley inside there. That's what pulls the belt and makes it easier to move your luggage along to the gate. What do you say we go look for some more? This one's as simple as it gets. An incline plane is just a surface with one side higher than the other, AKA a ramp. You've seen so many inclined planes, you probably don't even notice them anymore. I just used this one to get here. Here we are in an area of our tarmac, where as you can see, we parked many of our JetBlue airplanes. Next up is a popular one, the wheel and axle. This is just a big wheel connected to a smaller wheel. When one turns, the other turns. Of course, the first examples that come to mind are the wheels on a car, or roller skates, or the wheels on an airplane. But there's an even bigger example of the wheel and axle on an airplane, and it's called the engine turbine. The blades on the turbine spin around the axle. That's what generates the force called thrust to get the plane up in the air. Okay, three more. Let's head over to the hangar and see if we can find them. No, not that type of hangar. Here we are at Hangar 81 at JFK Airport. The airplane hangar is a giant room where we make sure all our airplanes are in tip-top shape. I brought you here because the next simple machine we're going to look at is the screw. A screw is one of the most sophisticated simple machines. When you turn it, it goes forward. A great way to think about it is a bottle cap. Once you make it tighter, it's really hard to pull it back off. But if you turn it the other way, it comes off easily. That's why screws are so great at holding things together. In fact, if you were to take a closer look at this entire 140,000 square foot hanger, you'd find millions of screws holding it all together. Next up is the wedge. A wedge is basically just a triangle. A great example of a wedge is a lumberjack's ax. Now a wedge is about as simple as it gets, right? But believe it or not, the wedge is actually what makes it possible for an airplane to get up in the sky. If you look at the wing of an airplane, it's designed to split through the air, creating higher pressure below the wing and pushing the airplane up in the air. But there's another wedge that stops the plane from moving all together. These are wheel chocks. We'll place them around every wheel while the airplane is parked. The chocks wedge in between the wheel and the ground so the plane can't move an inch. So that brings us to our last simple machine, the lever. A lever is just a surface that rests on a point, also called a fulcrum. And when you push down on one end, it makes the other end go up. A great example of this is a seesaw. But here in the hangar, there's a device that combines multiple levers to help you get to those really hard to reach places on airplanes. It's called the scissor lift. Check it out. Okay. Here we are at bag claim. We've already seen how a few simple machines help your bags get around the airport. But let's see if you can find all the simple machines that are just in this room. I'll give you a moment to look around. Okay, did you find them all? Let's see. There's an inclined plane and a pulley to spin the carousel. Each panel is a wedge so they can overlap. The bag has a wheel and axle and also a lever. And every light in the room, they were all screwed in. 
So now you know how airports work. It all seems so simple, doesn't it? I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I know I did. Thank you for joining me on JetBlue Jr. and happy flying. My name is Anthony. From all of us here at JetBlue, hope to see you in the air sometime soon.